The opening of the Masonic Hall at Beamish, the north of England Open Air Museum The purpose of the museum is to preserve the history of the North East. The Masonic Hall provides an insight into the changing world of Freemasonry. Set in 1913 the building, with its costumed interpreters, allows members of the public to explore Edwardian Freemasonry at their own pace. At that time the institution was much more public, visible and thriving than it is today. Although Masonic halls, or temples as they are sometimes known, are not considered to be places of worship, there are obvious similarities between their architecture and the ecclesiastical architecture of the Victorian and Edwardian periods. Not only in terms of size and form, but also in terms of the threats they now face. In England, Freemasonry is a society for men that focuses on moral and spiritual values, and for many years Freemasons have followed three great principles, brotherly love, relief, charity and care, and truth. A belief in a supreme being is the essential qualification for Freemasonry, God by whatever name a man's religion dictates. Membership is open to men of any religion or race who can fulfill this essential qualification. And who are of good repute. Members progress though a hierarchical system which includes apprentices, fellows and masters. These degrees of craft masonry progress a man through masonry using plays containing symbolism following ancient forms. The plays use stonemasons' customs and tools as their basis which are learnt by heart and performed within the local branch or lodge. The secrets of Freemasonry are the traditional methods of recognition, the handshake and particular phrases. These codes stem originally from the need to be able to recognize a qualified freestone mason in the Middle Ages. However, it is not a secret society since all members are free to acknowledge their membership and will do so in response to inquiries for respectable reasons. Furthermore, its constitution and rules are available to the public and there is no secret about any of its aims and principles. Like many other societies, it regards some of its internal affairs as private matters for its members. Although its actual origins are now uncertain, the history of Freemasonry is a fascinating trail. The word Freemason is a shortening of Freestone Mason, Freestone being the close-grained material used for decorative carving. Historical use of this term has caused a great deal of confusion when researching the origins of Freemasonry as this term was only adopted by the movement in the early 1800s. Prior to this they referred to themselves as accepted, adopted, freed, free or free and accepted Masons. It is thought that this was to distinguish those men who actually worked in stone from those who were members of Freemasonry. Historically, researchers have seen links between early Masons' marks in stone and the symbols used in Freemasonry. These links are not proof of early Freemasonry but proof that the symbols used in Freemasonry were widely used. Freemasonry's apparent reliance on symbolism dates back to the 1600s when recorded Freemasonry began, and few people could read and write. Many organizations, including the Church, used symbols to teach values at this time and Freemasonry adopted some of these. The square and compass, now universally recognized as the symbol of Freemasonry, was already in use by the Church as a visual representation of leading one's life within God's regulation and direction. One of the more romantic notions is that Freemasonry was established by the Knights Templar who fled France in 1314, although this, like many other stories, has now been completely discredited. Perhaps more plausible is the idea that Freemasonry was established as a self-help group owing to the lack of a welfare system in the 1600s. Some theories link Freemasonry to the political and religious tensions of the 1500s and 1600s. Perhaps more plausible is the idea that Freemasonry was established as a self-help group owing to the lack of a welfare system in the 1600s. Some theories link Freemasonry to the political and religious tensions of the 1500s and 1600s. When groups could have posed as operative lodges in order to meet, even though members were of all different political and religious views, with the idea of working together towards social improvement and tolerance.